Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. This video is going to be in memory of Mel Thompson who passed away unexpectedly last month. I was not a personal friend of Mel's, but I was a follower and a subscriber ever since the Puffin's Wife days before she changed her name to Mel Thompson on her social media channels. Um, Mel was a creative and sweet person and anytime I had questions about products, especially Pat McGrath products, she would always write back and give me advice, which a lot of bigger YouTubers don't have the time to do, but she really genuinely seemed to care about her subscribers. I feel like the YouTube community is really going to miss her. I will miss her, even though I only knew her through social media. I will miss her. So today's video is going to be in memory of Mel. Her favorite animal was the red panda, so I figured since it's October, I was going to try my hand at a red panda makeup tutorial. If you guys would like to see how I transform myself into a red panda in memory of Mel, then just keep watching. So if you guys are not familiar with red pandas, I will insert a picture right here. As you can see, Mel almost always had her favorite red panda in the background of her pictures and in her videos, it was her favorite animal. So they are like a reddish brown color. They've got like white around here, a black nose, and then like white little eyebrows. So we're gonna try that today. I have a whole plethora of products here. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna work best for getting the color just right. So I'm gonna play around with this. And then once I have the perfect mixture, I'll start with the makeup. Okay. so I. I think I have the best like orangey brown that I can get. I ended up mixing a bunch of different things. I <laughs> mixed some Derma Blend Quick Fix Orange Corrector, some LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector, some CoverGirl Undercover Concealer, and then I used some of the reddish pigments in these palettes into a foundation, and that's how I got that color. The first thing I wanna start with is the nose because there's actually like a white nose going around the cheeks and down here. So for that, I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil. This one is in Milk. And then the eyebrow area is white as well, so Starts like here. And then from the bottom of the eye over, it's also white. and we'll blend it all in later. And then from here. Am I looking like a panda yet? So this part's white and then there's some like white marks on the top of the forehead. This part's all white except for the black nose. The lips are black and then around here is a little bit of black and then the rest is that like reddish shade. Actually, let me draw in my black nose real quick so that I can add the white on top. So I'm gonna use the black pencil from NYX Cosmetics to make the nose. And there's black around the edges of the chin here. I'm gonna blend out the white real quick. And 
and then we have to fill in the rest of the white. Okay, so starting to look somewhat like a panda. So next we have the hair-like strokes coming from here around the cheeks. We're just kind of like gonna brush the orangey bits out. So I'm just gonna use a brush like this to kind of brush on some hair-like strokes. And then I'm gonna add some strokes of white to the forehead because pandas aren't all one shade. So there's little bits of white in here too. Just using a little liner brush, getting it on the white pencil and kind of brushing it through here. pop on a little ears. I just have cat ears and wow, you're a red panda. Hope you guys enjoyed this tribute to Mel and a quick makeup tutorial before Halloween. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and wait, there's more. If you guys wouldn't mind heading over to Mel Thompson's YouTube channel and watching some of her videos because every time a video plays and ads run, It'll send some ad revenue to Mel's family, which I'm sure they could appreciate right now. So I will link Mel's YouTube page down below, as well as her Instagram. If you guys want to leave her husband some nice messages on Instagram, I'm sure that would be appreciated. He said he's been trying to read them all to kind of step in where Mel no longer can. So head on over, send her family some ad revenue to keep them going during this tough time. Leave them some love, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. So I went ahead and took some of the bronzer palette and a liner brush and just kind of added some powdered hair strokes and I think it looks much more realistic once I put the powder on top so it's not quite as shiny. So here is the end red panda look. I'm quite happy with it. And for reference, my cat was a little scared of me. So <laughs> be cautious if you wear this around small children or other animals.